Welcome to STEM Club. In today's investigation, we're going to be looking at what happens when you flush the toilet. This investigation fits in really nicely because after digesting your food and going to the toilet, you're going to flush it. So if you did our ancient poo investigation from last time, you might want to use that. We've also got a bottle of water and then I've got some toilet paper and some kitchen roll. So those are all the things you need, but you might want to use more as part of the investigation. And all you need to do is you can put a bit of your poo into the toilet, just like you would. So I'll put a few bits of poo into my toilet and that is my bottle here. So I'm just going to plop my poo in. There we go. So really simple. And then like you do, you'd wipe your bottom very nicely and put that in as well. So I'm going to put in a big lump of toilet tissue. There we go. And then it's really simple. Just give it a flush, which is just a really good shake. Wow, if you look carefully, you might be able to see here, all of our toilet paper is almost dissolved. It's disintegrated into really small bits so it can move easily around the bottle and through our sewage system. You might have seen in the news about the fatbergs in London when things that shouldn't be put down the toilet get put down there and the blockages they cause. It then takes a lot of time for people to go and fix these and dig out the fatbergs. So what else might people flush down the toilet that shouldn't be there? I've got some kitchen towel here, which looks exactly the same as tissue paper. So let's try putting that in the loo as well. Put our kitchen towel in, and then we can just give our toilet a flush. Okay, this is not good for the toilet system. You can see all of the kitchen towel is totally stuck in my bottle here. Uh, all the loo paper still floating about and even the poo is started to break down a bit as well into smaller pieces. But the kitchen towel is just this big, huge lump. And that is gonna clog our pipes. Let's see what happens if our sewage is traveling down our pipes. Oh yeah, so all the toilet paper is coming out really easily. And now you can see we've got a blockage in our sewage system, thanks to the kitchen towel. So we're gonna to have to get some engineers to come and fix that problem now then, because we have blocked our pipes, putting kitchen towel down our toilet. This is a brilliant investigation for you to try at home because you can change the different things you are putting into the sewers and seeing what they do. So sometimes you might see on signs about fat and don't pour cooking oil down the sewers. So here we've been frying our bacon earlier for breakfast. I'm just gonna pour in using the funnel very carefully all my fat and then see what happens when I give that a shake when we flush it down the toilet. So you can see all of the fat has got stuck all over the sides of the bottles. It's kind of clumping together. It's made a real mess in my bottle here. So this is definitely not something you want to put down a toilet or down a sink because it's definitely gonna clog up all the pipes and sewage systems. Try this yourself at home. You could try putting cotton buds in, cotton wool or wet wipes and seeing what happens to those if you flush them. Thank you so much for joining us. There is lots more information on the Twinkle website all about the sewage system and what happens after you flush the toilet if you'd like to find out more. Do share what you've been up to. We love to see it. We've got a Twinkle Home Educators Facebook group where you can share your results and we look forward to seeing you again soon for more STEM fun.